I'm back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a demonstration today. I'm going to try, but um, I'm experiencing some technical difficulties. I don't know what I did. Um, I don't know why I went wrong, but my feet are super swollen. Um, I usually practice for a long time, but I don't know if it's all the practice I've been doing. Or I switched my soda to um, RC. I don't know if you've ever heard of RC soda. I usually drink Publix brand, which has 35% um, percent sodium. But there was no more of that, so I went to the um, RC, which has 40% percent sodium. And um, for as long as I can remember, salt has been my kryptonite in a way. Because it really swells me up. Always. And um, this is my feet. Like, they're extremely swollen. I don't know if you can tell. Like, usually, uh, you can see my ankles, but you can't even see my ankles. I have, like, cankles right now. And, um, it's very hard to kind of, like, practice because my feet are so fucking swollen right now. It's not just my feet. My hands are swollen, too. Ugh. So, yeah, I'm having a bit of difficulty right now. And my arm is killing me, too. But, um, there's always a way to get rid of this. Um, if you just fast, the fasting would kind of, like, get rid of the excess water or whatever. So I think I'm going to probably do that. But I was going to talk about perversion. Not porno perversion, but like perversion of the way that these gang stalkers have made the world. Because you know, by now, the way that I've been speaking is that everything is a game. One big game of life. That some rich assholes are playing with the normal, regular everyday citizens, you know. They orchestrate shit in your life, you know. And when I was talking about that crazy gang stalker, um, how he was like, he, he saw me and all this weird shit kind of coming off like a stalker. When I first met, met my ex, he was kind of like the same way, you know. He kind of was like on some very weird stalker shit. Um, like, I met him, we spoke, and then like one day I was walking to a friend's house. We happen to be a guy, and he's like, oh, wow, my f I saw you going to the guy's house. And it was late at night, like, fucking 11 o'clock at night. So, like, my question was, I didn't I didn't think about it. I was thinking to myself, what the hell is this guy doing in this area when he lives way across town? But what he was doing was gang stalking, you know what I mean? So that's a gang stalker right there. <laughs> the guy was gang stalking at the time. But, you know, like I said, I did not know that at the time. But now that I do know that, you know... I'm not going to keep falling for the okie doke. Like, you know what I mean? Like I said, you, the only way to win is to not, not play as, as, a, as a piece, but play as a player. You know what I mean? I don't want somebody else deciding my moves for me. I wouldn't be the one doing the moves, un unless that person is God. But other than that, it's me on the board. And um, they pervert everything. There's a movie called Ambulance right now. They keep playing the same stupid bullshit commercial called Ambulance. And it, in this perverted movie... That perverts reality. It's saying that the police is the the good guys. You know, it's it's a guy. It's a bunch of weird guys. So a black guy, coincidentally, some other guy that are desperate for money. They rob a fucking bank or something, and the getaway vehicle happens to be an ambulance. And inside the fucking ambulance happens to be a fucking cop. And they they could ram the you know the vehicle and make it flip over, but they're like, oh no. Don't you ram that car because there's a cop in there. We got to save that cop's life. You know, as if cops are not pieces of fucking shit, you know. And as if ambulance drivers are, are good people. And paramedics and firefighters, you know, as if they're good fucking people in society. And that made me think that they pervert everything. Like, even me, I was, you know, bamboozled myself. I used to watch Law & Order, you know. I used to watch Law & Order. That's why they have all those shows. They have the ER shows because they want you to make it seem like the doctors are good guys. They have, you know, cops and, you know, all these kind of shows because they want to show police in a certain light that they're good guys. You could trust them. You know what I mean? But really, you can't. They're the bad guys. They want to paint, you know, the ambulance. Even They even have an EMT show, an ambulance show, where they make it seem like, you know, these guys save lives and they do all this stuff. These people are the devil himself. You understand? A guy was saying that we all have, you know, soldiers. The devil has soldiers. God has soldiers too. Obviously, I fight in the army of the Lord. Because when you fight in the army of the Lord, God don't even need a lot of soldiers. 
the, the saying says the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. God don't need a lot of soldiers. I'm just one person. I'm out here fucking shit up. And I can say it with pride. Pride uh, and say it with my chest. You understand what I'm saying? So, these people, they are they are the soldiers of the devil. The, the way that the devil works, the devil and God could never compare. That's why for them, there's powers and numbers because... It's just one person who could manifest all these things. The only power they have is physical power. They have to physically, physically go to the gas station, put gas in their car, physically pay a crackhead, a hooker, or somebody crack, physically say, I'm going to take away your food stamps or your Section 8 if you don't gang stalk. And then they physically force people to do things. Whereas God, he just say, just say what you feel like should happen to them as punishment for what they've done, and it will happen just like that it does. And it's, it could be on a global scale, could be on a nationwide scale, could be on the, a state scale, county scale, city scale. It don't matter how big, however big you feel like you want it to be, that's how big it will be because that's how God's power is. But again, these people, they are from the army of the devil. And that's why they have to kind of like pervert things. You know what I mean? The devil's biggest trick is to kind of like fool you. They say he comes here to lie, steal, cheat, and destroy. The police, I mean, how many people have, you know what I mean? The thing is that that's where gaslighting, everybody's been gaslighted. The police literally kneeled on a motherfucking man's neck for eight fucking minutes and murdered him on camera. And people still trust the police and they back the blue. Blue lives matter my fucking ass. You understand what I'm saying? An uh, ex-police officer right here in the state of Florida had his daughter murder his granddaughter. Don't forget about Casey Anthony Case, baby. Casey Anthony's dad was an ex-cop. And this girl murdered her own daughter, probably in a sacrifice. And that girl is out right now. And she got another baby, too. You understand what I'm saying? It's police. It's, 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 it's everybody around you. They pervert every little thing. Even the teachers of your children. These you, you trust teachers to teach your children, but teachers purposely do certain things to certain children. Like certain children, if their parents is a certain person, they're gonna make sure that child don't get bullied. But when they when when it's like um, gang stalking and a child is being gang stalked, they will purposely not help that child and look the other way because they're a part of the agenda. They have perverted everything. Nothing is what it seems. You can't trust nobody. I was thinking about Joe Biden. Joe Biden sacrificed his daughter and his wife for whatever he got right now. When you look at um, the way that the rituals work in the Masonic and pagan world, again, they sacrifice family members in order to get what they want. This is the Rumpelstiltskin story. Rumpelstiltskin asked for the firstborn child in order for the girl to be the queen. Right? Rumpelstiltskin asked Joe Biden, I need your wife and your daughter in order for you to be the president. And he sold them, and here he is president today. You understand what I'm saying? It's a, it's a big game of Rumpelstiltskin. And it's just, it's sad that everything is perverted. That in a day and age where so much shit going on that you can't even have, I mean, there's no justice. That's why this thing has to come down because there's no justice. They perverted everything. They try to seem like they're God. You know what I mean? They want to be God. These people literally, they sent this man. They knew this man was a pedophile. This man had a case. He was at Parkland Park in, in uh... Parkland, Florida, Broward, because he worked in that area, in the bushes, jacking his motherfucking dick by the playground. When we first met, he, like I said, when you first meet the person, you don't know, but when things happen, that's when you kind of, like, figure the story out. But he fashioned the story in a certain way. He said that he was in the bushes peeing, and the cop caught him. It was a sheriff, coincidentally, and the sheriff caught him, and the sheriff was like, oh, um, you, you you was jacking your dick in the bushes. All of a sudden, years later, this nigga's a gang stalker. You tell me what happened. 
Do you think that this nigga has such a good attorney that he was able to be jacking his dick in the bushes in front of a playground and just get away with it with a good attorney? Or do you think that his attorney made him become a gang stalker and this is how he joined this whole little society? And these people, like I said, they knew beforehand this man was a pedophile. This is why this got to come down because can you imagine having a government that knows this man is a pedophile they make a deal with the pedophile and say listen we won't put you in jail we're gonna give you a lesser charge you just gotta pay a ticket but you just gotta join our society right and then years later they're gang stalking a woman and they said we want you to go after this woman and you have children and literally they know that this guy's a pedophile you understand what i'm saying it's just a crazy world that we live in that they pervert every single thing this is why everything has to come crashing down you know they hide behind lies that's that's the thing they have to hide if everything they were doing was right just imagine just imagine what it takes to take these people down forget the money all it takes is the truth the truth shall always set you free right imagine if the truth came out today that's all you need. If the truth came out that the FBI, CIA, NSA, and the United States government and many different governments around the world were operating in a secret shadow government under paganism and Satanism. And if all the churches and religious sectors of the world were really fraternal orders and brotherhoods. And all the teachers were gang stalking your children in order to, you know, beat them into submission to being good slaves. And the police officers and, you know, the public workers and I guess this guy called them sector workers and you know public servants they were all in this brotherhood you understand what I'm saying everyone was in this secret brotherhood and any person that was not in this secret brotherhood they were doing and orchestrating bad things against you they were secretly molesting your children in order to indoctrinate them into this Satanist shit that's the big secret that's why they are molesting our children that's how they were indoctrinated. When they were children, their mama and daddy used to rape them and do all this type of Satanist shit to them, right? And you know what happened? It made them turn out to be this way. So that's why they keep the cycle going because all children have to be just like them. Because I was raped by my mama and daddy and put into this cult, your, your kids gotta do it too. But imagine if the world knew the truth. People be people be ready to kill a motherfucker for raping a woman and raping a child. But imagine if the world knew the truth that America was doing this on purpose, using children as honeypots, letting children get raped. The judges were allowing this. The police were allowing it. The ECF was allowing. Just imagine. You don't know anarchy. Trust me. You don't know a riot. You don't know overthrowing the government. Because a lot of motherfuckers pretending in the brotherhood, but trust me, there's a lot. That's why they have to lie about it. Like I said, if what they were doing was right, like that's why I believe in God. When you believe in God, you don't have to do shit in the shadows. You could do shit up in, you know what I mean, just in the open shit. You know what I mean? I practice aerokinesis. So what? I want to practice aerokinesis. I'm going to practice my fucking aerokinesis. You know what I mean? But when you are a goddamn pagan, you have to do everything in the shadows. Everything has to be done in the shadows. That's why God had the saying, everything done in the dark will always come to the light. They do all this perverted shit in the dark because if the world knew the truth, they would have been murdered. They would not have been killed. The world would have ripped them to fucking pieces. You understand? That's why they have to do covert, overt shit because they don't want the world to know. And I'm telling you, they're going to know. Everything has to be revealed. I don't give a fuck who you are. I want everything to know to be known. I don't know how God gonna do it, but He gonna do it. Because that's the only reason why they get in the way with what they doing. You don't have to be out here doing all types of weird shit, going out there. You know what I mean? They the people that you out there trying to protest to, they know that there's gang stalking. They know they're raping kids because they're the very ones that are doing it. You understand what I'm saying? What you gotta do is you got to use your smarts and your manifestation. What do you do? You manifest a secret government or another government to hack America. 
You manifest China to do it. You manifest North Korea to do it. You manifest fucking Russia to do it. You know? It's that easy. Literally, all you got to do is just say, I command for a fucking other government to hack America's system. America has, they're perverts. They have a secret dark web. They have children being fucked on camera. They have people being gang stalked on camera. They have people getting raped and murdered and killed by the police, by the brotherhood on camera. And they save this information. How smart are you? If it's saved, then anybody could steal that shit. Goddamn. Ain't nothing infallible in the world. You know what I mean? And all you got to do is just wait. There been a lot of attempts to hack America. What do you think these people are trying to hack? You know what I mean? The same way I'm thinking is the same way the rest of the world thinking. It's a war against the mind and the consciousness. America, they're trying to paint Russia to be, you know, a, per- a country that has war crimes. They're trying to paint North Korea as a country that's dictatorship, everybody hungry, everybody da 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 da. But America, ten times worse. There's a goddamn homeless problem out here, and they motherfucking forcing people to be slaves and gang stalk just to be able to make a living. They paint themselves as the saints of the story, you know? Oh, we help people here in America. We always do humanitarian efforts. Every time you see a disaster, America's over there. Do you think of America's over there because they're humanitarians? No, they're over there because they like to the traffic. They're over there because they're animals. And they need to feed their animalistic instinct. And they go over there and rape and pillage the children and the fucking women. That's why they're there. Not because they're good people. Trust me, America's a piece of shit country. There's never a way that they'll be doing anything unless there's it's something in it for them, okay? There have been many times you hear fucking places in Africa hurting and they don't mention shit on the news. Why? Because, bitch, we're not going to get nothing by helping you people. So because we're not going to get nothing by helping your ass, you know? We don't want to be out there raping your people because we already got missionaries out there raping them already. So there's no point. But when there's a, a small little country with a crisis and they've been untouched by the Westerners, they're going to be there because I want to take me a little, you know, foreign child that's never been touched before. These fucking perverts. You understand what I'm saying? The same way they have to pervert things about Russia and about North Korea, about China. No, China's a communist country. Imagine if the world knew the truth about America. Just imagine. And why does America have to have a certain image of themselves to the world? If, if, it didn't, if it didn't matter, they would not put in God we trust. They would not put that God is the one who is sanctioning them. But the reason why they do that, because any, any person who thinks that God in heaven is with them. Look at this hobo. Ain't nobody scared of your ass, Otis. Look at this nigga. So anybody that thinks a motherfucking country is protected by God, they feel like I'm not going to mess with them because God might put curses on my country. So for that reason... Yeah. These, these motherfucking gang stalkers be weirding me out, bro. So, in the way that they have to pretty much say that God is with them. Like I said, any country that God is with, people fear them. People fear them. But God is not with America. That's what the world needs to know. That's why all these bad things are happening. And the they, worst going to happen because... When God is with you, you good, for real, for real. But when God is not with you, all the worst possible things, and I mean all of the worst, is going to happen. You know, America's too crazy. The world needs to know what these people have been doing. I'm just waiting on the word. This war has been a blessing for me. Because this war is going to free me and everybody else that's being fucking targeted. Some targeted individuals, they don't mind being targeted because shit. We get to be out here gang stalking people, but not me. I don't give a fuck about the other targeted idi- idiots. What about the children that are being fucked? You know, there's two-year-olds fucking sucking dick and getting fucked because their parents are fucking pagans. And it's okay in this society. America needs to be exposed, you know? That's how they always get you. Whenever there's a celebrity that they want the world to hate the celebrity all they do is expose you and then you're done look at beyonce beyonce was number one i ain't seen beyonce out for a long time you know what happened 
everybody loved Beyonce. And then all it took was one fucking gay ass stylist. No offense to the gays. But all it took was his her fucking stylist or whatever he was to go and say she was a witch and she'd be doing voodoo. I Beyonce disappeared after that. I don't see her no more. Why is she laying low till she died down and she could come back out again? You understand what I'm saying? Sabotage. You don't have to be out there destroying somebody. All you got to do is change the perspective that the world has on them. That is it. Why do, they, why do you think they, they suppress the stories of the gang stalkers, the gang stalked, or the targeted individuals? Because if the world knew that America was capable of such things, that, that England, that Australia, that, you know what I mean? Canada was capable of doing the things that they're doing to the very citizens that live. You know what I mean? I understand if you're in a war or some fucking terrorist is in your country doing stuff like this. But, like, they do it to normal people. I told you my story. My children are being molested. I've sh- showed you the videos of them walking around making fun of my children for being molested. You know what I mean? Why do they suppress videos like that? Look at my Look at my videos. Look at my views. I put the hashtag. Trust me, hashtags get you somewhere. But the thing is, they purposely suppress my videos despite me having the hashtags because they don't want people to see the truth. That is what, you know what I mean? Yes, that's like basically you telling me your weakness. You're telling me your weakness. Look at this motherfucking lizard. This lizard, a goddamn drone. Where you at, Mr. Lizard? Is a motherfucking lizard here somewhere? This motherfucking lizard is watching my ass. Like he, you know what I mean? Right there. Yeah, that's a lizard right here. Mr. Lizard, what the fuck your ass want? Motherfucking lizard drone. Okay, so let me tell you why. Child, they, uh, they love having uh, homeless people. Look at this. Homeless gang stuck in Betty over there. Child, I guess. I'm homeless too. I can't be scared of a homeless person if I'm homeless myself, baby. So, here's the thing. You have to know... The, your, your enemy's weakness that's how chess works that's how any game works when you play basketball I've seen people watch the other team watch the person play hours of footage so they can see like okay this person like to do free throws this person like to do this this person right handed this person left handed this person you know what I mean you gotta watch your enemy I've been watching America for a long time and when I say a long time I mean a very very long time Let's see some of the weaknesses that America has. It's image. If you could destroy America's image, you're done. If you could destroy America's money, because America is ran based on money. That's why they're trying to do the currency via digital, because digital is basically, you know what I mean? You could just make up anything. That's why they're trying to go digital, so they can control everything. But not just digital, but their, their image is a big thing. They always put those commercials of them going out to other countries and in the eyes of a nigga. You know what I mean? They say pets. They say kids. They say people. But the truth is, their, their image, they would not be out here spending so much money on trying to pervert the news if their image didn't matter. They would not be out here trying to, you know what I mean, do all these kind of things to make themselves look a certain way if their reputation and if their image did not matter their their image does matter that yeah i mean if the world was to find out the truth about america a lot of people know the truth about america like the government but the people people they don't know the truth about america that's the truth consciousness is a strong thing that's why they have to kind of like seem you know a certain way but the thing is i'm telling you whoever's gonna hack the american government they gonna expose everything because America showed me their secret. Number one, they're scared of being poor. Number two, they're scared of fucking people knowing their secrets. That's the that's how I could kill America right there. All I gotta do is manifest hard enough that someone's gonna know America's secret. I mean, yeah, the American economy is pretty bad. Yeah, gas is high. Yeah, I mean, that's just to kind of like demobilize the gang stalkers temporarily. But how do we destroy America? Make sure that America never makes a comeback and does this shit again. You have to expose the truth. You know, you gotta, like I said, you gotta know your enemy. You gotta know who you're fighting against. Your enemy knows you, you know that? They know everything about you. They study you. They know what you like to eat. They know what kind of girls you like. That's why they have money parts. Because they know the kind of girl you like. And all I gotta do is send Big Booty J-Lo over there to him. And he's gonna be, you know, that's she's gonna be his handler. All I got to do is give him a few kids because I know he loves his children and I'm going to be able to keep him in check. I know America. Your reputation is your handler. 
Your reputation is all you got. Do you understand? Your reputation is your is your name, it's your passport, it's your identity, it's your license, it's your ID. You know, sometimes America don't even have the money to be trading and doing certain things in certain countries. But just because they're America, people deal with them. But when the secrets about America comes out, you know what I mean? Look at this nigga. I can't even show him. Loser! <laughs> Loser! 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 I ain't fucking making fun of these gang stalkers. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I like making fun of them. Oh, God. Look at this crazy lady. I'm not even going to put her ass on camera. Maybe I'm weirdo women just riding around. Nah. I don't like coochie. Thank you, Miss Susie. No, thank you. So, America's secret is that they are afraid of the world knowing their secrets. They're afraid of everybody knowing that they gang stalk innocent people that they have used technology in order to brainwash the whole entire world and i mean the whole entire world it's not just me it's such a big conspiracy you wouldn't even believe it it's a humongous conspiracy and conspiracies are big that's why they have conspiracy theorists because a conspiracy is big it's big shit even the bible talks about conspiracies baby so when the world learns about America's little conspiracy to brainwash everybody and make everyone good slaves, they even do it to the animals. Do you know that? They even do it to the animals. Do you know that 90% of the birds in the tropical areas are dead? Do you want to know why they're dead? Because America is, is using their little frequency weapons on all the animals in order to, to control them. The same way they control the humans here, they're trying to control the animals as well. Okay, again, that's why you can see a random dog living with a human for years and attacking the child or the human because that's them using frequency weapons on animals and animals are very sensitive, you understand? But imagine the world learning the truth. The world, you know what I mean? They think it's bad. They say, oh, human trafficking is bad. You know, children are being trafficked. Children are being molested and raped. There's satanic rituals. Oh, it's, it's a conspiracy. That's what they got to say. Oh, it's a conspiracy theory. But imagine the world learning the truth. Just imagine the world learning the truth. What is going to happen? Why, do, why are you so afraid of the world learning the truth? You understand? When you learn someone's fear, you got you to gotta exploit it. That's what America does. I didn't want to lose my children or be with a goddamn pedophile, but they gave me that. Exactly what I didn't want is what they gave me. Now we're going to explore America's fear. America doesn't want the world to know. They don't want the world to know that they are having sex with children. The same way they use Big Booty J-Lo down the street to entice Tyrone, they use little five-year-old Timmy and little two-year-old Susie in order to, you know, be honeypots for big politicians that are goddamn pedophiles. They use that kind of stuff. They use their children, your little children and babies as honeypots. And then they go on the news and they bust the same motherfucker that was working for them. All these motherfuckers from Disney. You see the fucking Pasco Sheriff County fucking arrested a goddamn pedophile. Bitch, you the one who was sanctioning the pedophile. That ain't no big news to me. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch it. Trust me. America, they pervert everything. But I know their secret. Their secret is they don't want to be exposed. That's not all you gotta do. You want to destroy somebody? Watch them really good. Don't just be out here being gang stalked. You know what I'm saying? You're being gang stalked, but what have you learned? I learned that America has a big weakness. Their reputation. They care about what people think about them. You understand? That's why they, they try to push that on you. They want you to care about what people think about you. They always like, in my brain, you know, some people, they... They, they beam voice the skull technology at you. And I'm out here practicing my aerokinesis. And you know what they always say to me? I'm, you're crazy. She's crazy. Oh, my God. She's crazy. As if I give a fuck. You're a goddamn motherfucker that sucks little kid dick. And you're a goddamn pedophile. And you're a piece of shit low-life pagan. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about what you think about me, bitch. You're a goddamn scum. But why do they project that onto me? Because their own, their own insecurities is being projected onto you. They care about what people think about them as a whole. So because they care about what people think about them, they believe that maybe you will care about what people think about you. And I really don't. But they do. 
So now that I know that that's your weakness, what do you do? You exploit that weakness. You manifest. You focus all of your energy into that. You understand? Because once the world finds out that America is this disgusting country, all of that negative energy will make it easy for them to fail. Because anytime the whole world hates a country, they always fail. Consciousness is a very strong thing. That's why they use it to manipulate the consciousness of the masses. Oh, I learned America's secret. Like I said, don't be out here being gang stalked and you don't fucking learn anything. Don't be out here being a goddamn piece on the board, motherfucker. You got to be out here making moves yourself. Manifestation is real. If God could say, let there be light and the sun was made, then we could be out here just saying things and they fucking happen. And if it ain't happened, then it just ain't happened yet. But it will. And I'm just waiting for the day when all America's little dirty secrets are exposed worldwide. And there's no more gaslighting because it'll be on video and film. Because I know they like to say things are lies. They even got the whole thing with Hunter Biden laptop. Have you seen the fucking shit on that laptop? You'd be opposed, like appalled. I saw it and there's not one thing about it on the news. Not one thing. I saw the contents of what's on this nigga laptop, my nigga. It's all over Telegram. <laughs> it's all over Telegram. If you want the link, I'll give you the link. It's all over Telegram. What's on Hunter Biden's laptop? And if you see what's on this nigga laptop, you'll be fucking appalled. You'll be throwing up. Ain't nobody saying anything about it. You understand what I'm saying? Because they control the media. They, let's just not talk about it. If we don't talk about it, it's going to go away. But this is going to be different. This one is going to be big, 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 big. That they have no choice but to talk about it. Even, you know what I mean? It's a lot of, it's a lot of fucked up shit going on. It's going to be revealed. This is the, the age of information. The age of knowledge. Because when you know better, you do better. But happy manifesting, guys. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be out here. Um, I want to do a demonstration, but... I'm like super swollen. I don't know what I did, but I'm going to have to go on a fast. Like I I just started eating. And all of a sudden my body is so swollen for some reason. So I only I just got off my my fast and I've been only eating for 1 week. And my whole body is like severely swollen, like severely 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 swollen. So swollen like I look like I have fucking like I look at my ankles. There's no ankle like I, I, on a normal day, I have like an ankle. It's a deep ankle, but I have a cankle right now. That's how swollen my feet is. Even my face is swollen. You know what I mean? So it's crazy. Look at this nigga. Gang stuck in Don Quavius over there. They was doing all types of craziness, child. I don't give a fuck though. They're not gonna stop me from talking. You see, that's what I'm saying. Whatever, you, and I'm right. That's how I be um, knowing when I'm right about something. Anytime I say something, and right when I say it, they kind of like try to seem like they're just trying to stop me from saying it. It kind of gives me like a cue that I'm right, you know? Like their weakness is their reputation. And all I have to do is make sure that the masses know what is going on. That's it. I'm not going to be out there holding no goddamn pick a sign, bitch. Hell no. Fuck that. I'm just going to manifest. And just like that. The consciousness of the world is going to change. And all it takes is the consciousness to change about America. And so much hate towards one country is going to make them fail. Trust me. I've done it many times. And it's going to work. Look at this loser at Gang Stalker. Looking like Mick Jagger. Where your beard, Mick Jagger? What happened? <laughs> it got the moves like Jagger. You got a thick ass mustache looking like Ron Jeremy. Look at this Ron Jeremy looking ass nigga. Ron Jeremy, you lost some weight, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you alone, John. I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna put the camera somewhere else. I'm gonna take a tighter of my ass. Oh, look at them honking. Like we in the Freedom Convoy. Ottawa, we here, baby. <laughs> oh, God. You know. I be liking making fun of the uh, gang stalkers. When I be making fun of them, my videos be like very funny. Like I, I look back at my own videos and I be cracking up. I'm, I need to be making fun of the gang stalkers. But um, I just wanted to share 
to you out there, don't just be getting gang stalked and don't just be getting scared. Look at everything. Study these people. Study how they move and start to manifest against them. Manifestation is real. It's not that hard. It's as simple as saying something is going to happen to someone and believing it. And if it don't happen a week or a month from now, that's all right. It just ain't happened yet. But never give up on what you believe should happen to someone because they deserve it. You understand?